near Richmond, Virginia, March 1865. Hey, how you doing? Any news? I don't know anything either. I'll tell you though, I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm tired. Four years I've been in this war and I'm ready for it to end. I'm ready to go home. It's not like it used to be. Not like in 61 when we enlisted. That's when I enlisted. Did you, did you enlist then? You did. Good for you. I remember those days well. Bands playing, speeches, flags being presented, flying everywhere. And the ladies. Now the ladies. We were so young then, so naive. We thought we'd have one big battle and it would be all over. I was at first an asking. Were you there? You know, you should have seen Stonewall Jackson. He was fantastic. He was on the top of that hill. The Yankees were pushing up the hill, but he wasn't moving. Stood there like a stone wall. Got his nickname there. Yep. And I tell you, it's hard. It's hard to see Virginia be such a battleground. How many battles have been fought here? So many of them. First Manassas, Fredericksburg. Yeah, the list goes on and on. We sure worked them over there at Fredericksburg, though, didn't we? Yep. We sure could still use Jackson. It's a shame he's dead now. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. I think General Lee will do just fine. He's done fine by me so far and by the South as well. But I tell you, that fellow Grant outside of Richmond, I think he's probably about ready to, to get in. Our capital is not able to stand much longer, I'm afraid. But you know, I've been thinking that's probably a good thing because that way we'll be able to get out and maneuver again. We won't be stuck in these trenches defending the city for, gosh, how many months has it been? That's what we need to do. We need to maneuver. I tell you, between you and me, I don't think there's enough of us to maneuver left. What's that? No, I don't have anything to eat. You got anything to eat? I'm sure I'm hungry. Listen, you take care of yourself. I'll do the same. Bye. Richmond, Virginia, April 1865. Have you heard it? Can you believe it? Richmond City, my beloved capital of the Confederacy, is in flames. I can't believe it has come to this. The federal troops are at our gates. They're poised to come in. What shall I do? I know. I will gather what belongings I can, and I will flee the city, as thousands are. Why did this happen? How did this come to be? Surely it began when Lincoln was elected in 1860, and some southern states pulled away or seceded from the Union. Some others, including Virginia, joined them later to form the Confederate States of America. But truly, it began long before that. We had always been different people, the North and the South. The North was mostly industrial or manufacturing, and the South was mostly agricultural, farming. We produced commodities like cotton and sold it to the North. They made finished goods and sold them back to us at a profit. But there were people in the North who did not agree with the fact that the Southern states mostly relied on slave labor. They were called abolitionists. They believed that slavery should be abolished or made illegal. In fact, many Northern states did do that. They pushed so that when territories would become new states, they would come in as free states rather than slave states. That encircled the South. We had nowhere to expand. The economic problems grew fierce for us. On top of that, 
there were instigators, people like Nat Turner right here in Virginia, a slave who began a rebellion, killed several slave owners. He was later captured, tried and convicted and executed. But the troubles had begun. The fears had begun. Escaping slaves trying to go to the north were helped by northerners and by former slaves like Harriet Tubman, who arranged what was called an underground railroad, or a means for them to get their freedom. Then in 18 and 59, John Brown led a raid on the U.S. arsenal at Harper's Ferry in Western Virginia. He was hoping to incite a slave rebellion. It didn't work. He was captured, tried, and executed for his crime. But when Lincoln was elected in 1860, several of the southern states knew they had no choice. They seceded or pulled away from the Union. Shortly later, they were joined by several other states, including Virginia, to form the Confederate States of America. Having done that, we were told by the federal government that we could not. And they tried to force us back into the Union under force of arms and came to war. The early years of the war went well for us. But things turned bad. We were running out of material, running out of men. Now they're at the gates of the city. Richmond has fallen, and I must flee. The Civil War in Virginia ended on April 9, 1865 at Appomattox Courthouse, where General Robert E. Lee surrendered the Army of Northern Virginia to the Federal Army commanded by General Ulysses S. Grant.